We are eight days from an, an event that will be bringing people together when it's a time right now that's needed the most. Our next guest is the executive director of 23rd Veteran. It's an organization that strives to provide happier, healthier lives for veterans living with trauma. Joining me now is retired Marine Mike Waldron. Mike, thank you for joining us this morning. There you are. Thank you, Mike, and thank you for your service. Uh, very quickly here, explain to our viewers what 23rd Veteran does for our veterans and why there's a need for support right now. So 23rd Veteran is based on my personal history. After serving in combat in 2003, it was about five years later, I fell into some pretty severe symptoms of combat stress. And for about five years, life was really difficult for me to live. And once I was able to pull out of that, I could look back and realized why and did the studying on why my brain changed when I was in combat. So we put together a 14 week program to help my friends and others be able to pull out of their symptoms of combat stress much quicker than I was able to. And it's been very successful. So in 2015, we started running this 14 week reconditioning program. And so far, upon graduation, on graduation day, every single person that's gone through the program reports living a happier life and a higher quality of life, having done it. I love it. You're giving me chills just hearing about this. I I love that you've had such great success. Uh, right now is is a great time. It's uh, a great time to do this. It's a time when plans have been canceled for many people. Events are being held, but you guys, you guys had a really good idea, ad adjusting a bit with the times. Tell us about the Ruck March and why was it so important to hold this event even with the ongoing coronavirus pandemic? So the Ruck March is the fundraising event so that we can run that 14 week program. And in our program and in 23rd Veteran, we really focus on combating that isolation. That's really difficult for our veterans after leaving the military, we isolate ourselves. So now the world is in almost a forced isolation. So we're being asked to, to stay home and to stay away from people. And that can be kind of dangerous for the human psyche. So we had to cancel our in-person events. So instead we spun our, what was our Duluth event into an international virtual event. So now, even though we can't get together person to person anymore, we're still able to get together over a video chat. So next Saturday, we're going to be on a video chat. There's people all over the United States and there are soldiers currently serving in Iraq from US and from other allied forces that are going to be on this video chat. We're gonna to get together that Saturday, sign into the, the Facebook page, the Nearly Naked Rock March, and you can be a part of the event. We're gonna all step off at the same time, 11 a.m. Central, 9 a.m. Pacific time. I love it. I feel like, you know, this is a perfect time to bring awareness to this. People are at homes, entire families can participate. And let's say, you know, you can't go outside. You can try doing it indoors, possibly a treadmill. There's so many options. Our national parks right now are free for people to also go visit. So how do you suggest people participate? And uh, what do you expect? How many people do you expect to, to be participating in this event? So to participate, what we do in a ruck march is we put weight on our back. It simulates the, the weight that our service members physically carry in combat and then also the weight that our veterans carry on their shoulders. So we're going to put a backpack on. And if you choose to, if you're able to, you can go out of your homes. You find your favorite hiking spot and you go for a walk. And we're asking that you still respect the six foot social distancing rule when you come across strangers. Obviously, if we live together, we can hike together. And if you're not leaving your homes, you can still Put on some form of weight. You can do squats. You can do. Uh, you can be on a treadmill or a stair stepper. It's a, it's a really good opportunity to get out and experience our fitness, experience something healthy, and experience other people doing this together with us around the world. So we can put on the backpacks. We're going to be ready. But is there a dress code? The dress code <laughs> is now something patriotic. Okay, uh, the name perfect. of the event is the Nearly Naked Rock March. It started in northern Minnesota in February when 120 people got together and went for a rock march in long underwear to where to raise awareness for veteran suicide. So now we, we've kept that name and it just invites you to wear something fun and patriotic. 
Perfect. So nearly naked. We don't expect anyone to be naked, but we do want you to get all your patriotic stuff from home. Put that on. It'll be a fun event. The whole family can do it. I'm really excited to see pictures of people doing it later. They can use a hashtag. What's that hashtag? Hashtag is Ruck the Virus. There it is. Put your pack on. You can mm -hmm. put the weight that you put in there. It can be food or clothes that you're going to donate to locals in need. So we have people choosing their route to go right down to the food shelf, make their donation, and then rock back to their homes. Taking it even a step further. I love that. Thank you very much for joining us today, Mike, and I can't wait to participate in this uh, wonderful event. Thank you for having me on. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.